guys, it's Rockmax32 here, and today I'm bringing you an unbiased, unpaid for review of set 75388 or Jedi Bob Starfighter. Nobody's paying me for this, and I'm not sponsored by LEGO to make this video, I just love LEGO Star Wars, so let's get right into it. This set retails for $39.99 and contains 305 pieces, three minifigs, and will be releasing on August 1st, and I was able to find one early at Walmart. Now let's start with the unboxing. You get four numbered bags and a sticker sheet, along with an instruction booklet and an extra wing piece. Oddly, one of the wing pieces is included in the box and another one in bag three. Not really sure what that's about, but that's just the reality. Now on the stickers, I wish they had been printed, but they're not too bad. Here are the three minifigs. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really fair to call the gonk droid a minifig, but I guess it is. I really wish that this gonk droid had actually been a cool astromech and one of the crazy color schemes like we've been getting, but more of that in my opinion later. We also get an Akbar Trooper, which I'm sure some madmen out there on YouTube will probably army build, and it looks alright. I kind of wish we had gotten a phase 1 trooper in the old style, like the old gunship, but this is okay, and anybody who's collecting LEGO clones like me will now have to add this to their clone collection. And now the star of the show, we get Jedi Bob, and he looks perfect in my opinion. He's spot on to what LEGO should have done. They've given him a second face print, which I think is reasonable, and the other face print looks like the old one. In my opinion, I'd give a B plus for the minifigures, and A plus plus for Jedi Bob. Now let's talk about the build experience. I found the experience was normal, there's no crazy build techniques, and the Starfighter is similar to other Jedi Starfighters LEGO's released recently. Now let's take a look at the Starfighter. This is one of the coolest Jedi Starfighters that LEGO has made, in my opinion. It's like the Starfighters of old, but with a little bit of extra flair, extra guns, extra engines, and I think LEGO nailed that on this. Now let's talk about play features. Swoosh ability is is top tier. This fighter is very fun to fly around. It comes with two spring-loaded shooters and a compartment to hold some random Easter eggs they've included. You can see Jedi Bob in there, but the Gonk Droid and the Akbar Trooper have nowhere to go. On the bottom, I'm not really sure if this is a play feature, but there are two clips, one for the extra spring-loaded shooter and the other one for Jedi Bob's lightsaber. Now let's compare Jedi Bob's Starfighter to some of the other Jedi Starfighters I have with me. Jedi Bob's Starfighter is about the same size that LEGO's been making for a while now, and many of the build techniques are similar to those of the past Jedi Starfighters. Comparing specifically the most recent Jedi Starfighter, Obi-Wan Starfighter, you can tell where Jedi Bob Starfighter got some of the inspiration, but it's definitely its own and it definitely defines itself in many ways. Now, continuing to compare Jedi Bob Starfighter to Obi-Wan Starfighter because they're the two most recent ones we've gotten, like I said, Jedi Bob Starfighter retails for $39.99, where on the other hand, Obi-Wan Starfighter, which just came out and will be retiring soon, retails for $29.99. So for a lot of people, you may not see where is that extra $10 in value. There's definitely more parts in the Jedi Bob Starfighter. It's Definitely a little bigger, a little more well-rounded, it's got extra engines, these extra guns, you can just tell in all of the wing areas there are more pieces, but when you break it down to two Jedi Starfighters that both come with two minifigures and a droid, the value may seem a little more off. Jedi Bob Starfighter being worth $10 more may not be very visible to many people, as both come with a Jedi, another supporting minifigure, and in Obi-Wan's case, a really cool astromech droid, and in Jedi Bob's case, well, servo. Anyway, just something to consider and something that I think a lot of people will be considering is comparing these two while they're on shelves at the same time. Now for my personal opinion, and I'll try to keep it brief. Overall, I really like this set. I think that LEGO did a great job, uh, and I'm really glad that they finally brought back Jedi Bob. And I think for many people, Jedi Bob on his own is going to justify the price of this set, because he's a very accurate representation of the old Jedi Bob, but now in a $40 set, instead of an over $100 minifigure from 2002. I think the build is great. I think this is one of the best Jedi Starfighters LEGO has released. On a lot of Jedi Starfighters, they have a problem with this seam right here. I think that LEGO has really figured that out. I love the five engines, the extra flare, the bigger guns. I mean, everything about this is just really cool. I heard a lot of people saying they wanted this to come in the original gunship colors to play on the Jedi Bob theme even more. But I think what LEGO did is great. I think that this color scheme looks really good. And it really kind of fits the Rebuild the Galaxy theme, which they also have to consider in this. Now, things I would change if I was LEGO. One, I think maybe this is a $35 set. Yes, there's more value here. I mean, the ship is slightly larger. There's a little bit more going on. 
But on the minifigure front, there really isn't a ton of extra value, unless you're trying to put all of that value in the Jedi Bob minifigure himself. And also on that note, I would have loved to have seen a really brightly colored astromech droid, kind of like we've been getting. I think that would have fit the Rebuild the Galaxy theme way better than this gonk droid, especially at this price point. And also, instead of getting an Akbar Trooper, which I think is really funny and is going to look ridiculous in my clone case, I think I would have rather have seen maybe a 2002 style Phase 1 clone, or maybe some crazy color scheme like a all pink clone or an all red clone or something like that I think would have been really cool. Um, or maybe put that extra value towards a build um, for the clone to have or something. At $10 more than Obi-Wan Starfighter, I don't know if I see the value. I maybe could see the justification for $5 more with the build itself, but $10 more is a little much. But if you're anything like me, you bought it because it's a really cool Starfighter and you get Jedi Bomb and you don't really look at the price, and I think that LEGO's gonna capitalize on that. And, but I'll wrap up my opinion. I think overall this is a great set, a pretty decent minifigure selection. LEGO did perfect on this Jedi Bob minifigure. There's nothing more I could have asked for. With the second face, the original face, I think it looks great. The Akbar Trooper's fun, and Servo is kind of a waste of pieces. On the other hand, this set is actually great. I love this build, and I think it's one of the coolest looking Jedi Starfighters LEGO has ever released, so there is something to be said for that. I was a little skeptical on the Rebuild the Galaxy theme, uh, and some of the other sets I'm not gonna jump on, but this is really awesome, and I'm really glad that LEGO took the opportunity to do something as cool as this, because if you had asked me five years ago, I would have told you there's no way LEGO would ever touch something like this, and now we're sitting here. So overall, would I recommend purchasing it? If you have an extra $40, go for it. It's a really cool set, but like I said, for some of the people who are a little bit more price conscious, uh, if you just want a Jedi Starfighter, go get Obi-Wan's. This is $10 more, and I'm not sure if there's $10 more of value. In closing, I think this is a great set, and one of the best uses of the Rebuild the Galaxy theme for LEGO. I think they took advantage and gave us a really great product. If you want to buy one, I'll have an Amazon link in the description the second that LEGO gets it listed on there, but for now it's not up, so I'll have that on August 1st. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for me. If you want to see more unbiased, unpaid LEGO Star Wars reviews, definitely slap a like and a comment down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. It's completely free. This is my first uh, review on a set. I really enjoyed the process. So if you'd like to see more, definitely let me know. But that's it from me. I would recommend buying this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.